it's time to burnish my leather edges here. I'm going to be using burnishing gum. This stuff is really fantastic, although not necessary. And a wooden, wooden burnishing tool right along those edges. So burnishing, in this case, is asking all of these kind of rough leather particles to get squashed down to make this really nice smooth edge. I like to use my finger, but you could also use a little piece of paper towel or some other applicator to put on this burnishing gum. We want to be uh, pretty gentle with this. We don't want to put too much on. And once you have a little bit on, make sure that there aren't globs of this, of the white color. So put a little bit on and then smooth it out so it looks more clear and just kind of wet. I'm getting it along all of those edges and making sure too that it didn't get globbed up on the side of my leather. Wiping my finger off at that point. So now it's time to take that wooden burnishing tool and actually start doing the burnishing. So this one in particular has several different sizes on that burnishing tool part. Uh, this one right here would be a little bit too small probably to use for this thickness of leather. So I think maybe the top two are the ones that would be best for this. The key to burnishing is not force, but it's friction. So we're using this back and forth motion to really burnish rather than putting a lot of force into it. So if your arm is sore at the end of burnishing, it should not be because you're putting, you know, 200 pounds of weight on here. It should just be because you're moving that wooden tool back and forth. It starts to smooth out those edges right away. And as you can see, this side on this part of the leather has been smoothed out. It's really shiny. It's smooth to the touch and it goes smooth leave from one side of the leather to the other. This other side is more squared off and it's still rough. You can even see those little leather particles sticking out. Burnished, not burnished. So you can also burnish the back side of your leather too. Um, I haven't yet, but that will be the next step here. To do that, I also use the burnishing gum and I start just rubbing it into that back spot. If it is, uh, if you put too much gum on there, it just won't burnish. It'll just move the gum around and it'll make it, um, it'll take a long time for that to dry as well. I'm also, on the other hand, trying not to make it so that there are really dry spots on that leather. Get enough gum in there to uh, at least dampen all of that rough out. It's kind of neat how you can see uh, where I had tooled from the other side. I'm using a different part of this burnisher, this flatter part, or maybe that kind of top rounded area. I'm doing circular motions. Once again, friction is key rather than a lot of force or pressure. It takes a little while, so be patient with yourself as you're doing the burnishing. Sometimes when you're pushing down on that flat part, it kind of pops up the part that you already burnished. So you can go back and forth between burnishing your back part of your leather to burnishing the edges of your leather. As you can see, there is a difference between that burnished side and that rough outside. Just like the edges, this burnished back part is really, really smooth and you can't see so many of those leather particles sticking up. But on the rough outside, without burnishing, a lot of those particles are still sticking up. Huge difference. The burnished definitely looks more finished. 